up and then it should come out pretty easily like this Once you take it off, you can't really reuse it even if it was in good shape because it is lined in this bendable metal material and so there's no going back after you take it off. So I had to find something similar or as close as possible and if you look here from the side view, it has like a U shape here and then a little thing sticking up at the side. So I tried to find something very similar and this is what I was able to find on Amazon. They're both U-shaped and then it has a little thing sticking out at the side. So, and this one even has some double-sided tape. So I think this could work. I'm gonna give it a shot. So I've been trying for a while. I'm, I've been trying to put the glass inside of this U right here. And then sliding it across like that, but um, it's not working very well, so I'm gonna try some of this waterless wash wax stuff to make it more slippery and see if that helps. Okay, it's working a little bit better. Still not, still pretty. Okay, no, it's not working at all. Freaking This trim didn't work too well for the front because the front windshield is a lot thicker than the back windshield so I thought I would just try it on the back one and it's working very well it fits like a glove pretty much so um, this is wet but here it kind of almost looks like OEM so I think I found a trick to do this so first take this trim and put it, wedge it inside. And then as you're going back, push whatever's left behind by the trim. So like this. Hey guys, welcome back. We are finally on the last panel of the car. It does require some body work. It's not perfect. There's a lot of little imperfections and paint chips and things like that. But as mentioned in the last video, I am going to get an aero rear bumper. So I'm gonna completely skip the body work and just wrap it just for the sake of uh, having it in the same color as the rest of the car. I have it off right now because I forgot to attach this foam protector thing on the on the inside so I'm gonna take the rear lip off and then put the bumper back on and then get to wrapping to remove the rear lip there is a 10 mil right here and then it's pretty much all clips um, you do have to remove this styrofoam thing there we go This time, instead of trying to wrap it all at once and having to redo it like my front bumper, I decided to do an inlay on this part here.
right, so definitely this corner part right here is really difficult. Um, this reminds me of the nightmare of the front bumper episode. It seems like no matter how much I heat it up, stretch it, do something, it kind of gets wrinkled up because there's just so much wrap material in there, right there. But as always, I'll just keep going and see how far I can get. All right, so I think I kind of realized that instead of trying to um, go up this way, I'm going this way and I'm pushing that way as I'm doing it like this. So um, I think I figured this out, but never speak too soon. Most of the parts went well except this part. The wrap that's under it is coming up with the wrap that's over it. So I'm gonna here take a knife and And the only other thing left to wrap was the rear bumper lip, which I did off camera. And that is officially the end of this wrap project. I never thought this day would come, but here we are after 6 long months of struggling and learning. This was by far the most ambitious project I've done, but also the most rewarding and one that completely changed this 9.5. This was 1000% worth it and I absolutely love how it turned out. But like all things, it is far from perfect. I'll be making another video going over my experience in retrospect and some information that might help you should you decide to wrap your own car. But for now, I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful car and all of its renewed skin. I really hope you guys like this series, and thanks for the support and kind words throughout the ups and downs. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>